What's going on, YouTubers? We are back here today. We're going to do a pack opening, and then we're going to check out the gameplay for League versus League Master Dwayne Wade. So first things first, not in the store. We're going to go into my packs. That's the wrong place, too. There we go. Third time's a charm. Okay, not a huge pack opening. I've got five pro packs from today and from yesterday. One from my daily shoot around the two legend packs from yesterday or a couple of days ago and the league versus league pack so let's get into the pro packs first warm up a little bit see if we can get anything interesting we get a jabari parker storyline not much but these are pro packs i'm not expecting anything massive out of here pro packs are pro packs you know it happens on occasion that's always nice i like the storylines though those, if I could fill out a set for that, that would be nice too, because that gives you the playoffs pack, which is a good pack. It's uh, always good to get an extra playoffs player. The promo that's ongoing is always nice to have extra stuff for free. So let's see if we can pick up anything good. So far, it's mostly bronzes and silvers with low end golds. But again, Pro packs, not expecting terribly much. It would be nice if we could pack an elite. You know it would be really nice if we could pack a legend. I have never packed a legend. And there's a first for everything. We get a throwback Perkins. Not amazing, but he sells for a little bit more than anything else that is a base gold. Defensive Bosch will also sell for 5 or 6k, which is always nice. Almost pays me back for the pro pack. Okay, so nothing out of those. Let's open this League versus League pack. There's our collectible right away. <laughs> A lot of red paint to start. Oh, we get Jeremy Lamb, League versus League gold. 73 overall. Wow, really crap defense and passing. Three-pointer and shooting is mediocre. Obviously, not really going to factor into any of my lineups. Um, but... It's nice to see those cards pop up sometimes. So let's get into these legendary packs. See if we can pull something for that Stockton that just dropped. That would be nice. We got a Towns right off the bat. Let's see what we get. Russell Westbrook. Okay, that's that new small ball Russell Westbrook. That might be worth something. I'm not sure. I like the card art on it, though. It's very nice. Let's take a look at what comes next here. Willie Cauley Stein, Tobias Harris, Iverson 08. That's the big man Iverson, I believe. That's uh, nothing special. Out of curiosity, let's take a look at what those are going for. So if we head over to the auction house and we take a look at Iverson, this is probably the bottom end of the spectrum 50k cheapest was 70 there 55 yeah this isn't gonna go for much i might throw it into the collectible reroll set although that one also has not been great lately because so many new legends have been put out that the older ones are pretty worthless at this point looks like i could probably sell this for 49k i don't really need the collectible i've got tmac in that spot i don't really want AI in that spot honestly I like AI I'm a diehard AI fan one of my favorite players of all time but this card is just not worth it for me let's take a look at what uh, what Russ is doing we got this one here I believe that one's 188 171 150 this one looks like it's gonna go for a little bit more 125 yeah, that looks like it's going to be the low end is 125. 150 before that. Let's see if we can sell this for 145. If we could sell that for 145, that would be pretty decent. That'll pay almost for both packs. We'll sell the AI one also because, again, I don't need it. And I have a Bill Russell one sitting there from a while back. All right, so Russell Westbrook points 145K. This one... Uh, I think it was 49. I think the cheapest I saw was 50. So let's drop that. I like to lowball my pricing when I go for sales. 
I think I spoke about it before. I don't really see the 5, 10, 15K as being much of an incentive to try to overdo the pricing and then you get stuck with the card. It, it doesn't make sense to me. So I'd rather lowball when I can and get rid of it. Anyway, let's get into Dwayne Wade claim. Here he is, 93 overall Dwayne Wade. Let's look at the base stats. Speed 83, dribbling 91, that's nice. Three-pointer 75, that's that's surprisingly high for Dwayne Wade. I'm impressed with that. Defense 77 seems a little low. He's always been very effective on the steal and especially on the block for a 6'4 guard. His shooting is an 85, which is nice considering he's a great mid-range shooter and slasher. Passing 86 is possibly a little generous even. He's never been a huge assists guy. But let's get him into gameplay. So my team will sub out T-Mac for that Dwayne Wade. You can see that Dwayne Wade and T-Mac's passing are even. Wade's the better defender and the better dribbler, but worse in the other three areas. And did that drop my rating to a 95? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Drops my lineup rating. Anyway, let's head into League versus League. I've been saving this for this video. So we're mid-turning right now. We're up by 180 and only by four drives. So I think I'm good to showcase a little bit of gameplay. I always try to take on the top teams. They had a couple of 94 overalls. Yeah, this one got no quarters remaining. 12, okay, that's not bad. All right, so we've got this guy here at the top, D, and this guy, Yanu, at the bottom. He has all three drives remaining. He has two. Let's see out of curiosity. If, oh, Chris Paul. I love when I love when I have a league versus league matchup against one of the top guys, and he has two-way master Chris Paul because that card is so easy to steal from. I hear people talking all the time about how he's, you know, he's great, he's this, he's that. I don't get it. Literally every time I play against two-way master Chris Paul, I get three, four, five steals in a quarter with no problem. I don't see much here. What's this? KDO. Oh, that's a tough one. That mobile, uh, not mobile madness, all-star Kevin Durant. That dude is tough to play against. That's one of the guys that I avoid. He's uh, he's good. He's got Penny also. Penny's AI is, like I said, it's pretty dirty. Since we're doing a League versus League Master, what we'll do is we'll take on that Penny Hardaway for fun too. There's a Paul Pierce and a LaMarcus Aldridge in the same lineup. And also award winner Steph Curry, another dude who I love to play against because I find I can steal from him with no problem. So this guy's got two lineups that we're going to face. This guy, do we want to bother with him? He's got League versus League Paul George. And he's got fan favorite Bo Outlaw in the same lineup. That could be fun. Aldridge and Pierce also. Let me check this guy's lineup again. See what his shooting lineup is like. Aldridge and Pierce. He's got Harden. He's got Curry. He's got Ewing. Okay, so we're going to play Yanu twice. And we're going to play D once. This guy I'm going to take on his defensive lineup because we get to showcase League versus League Master Paul George's AI. And we will see fan favorite Bo Outlaw's AI. Outlaw's been all right. The few times I've faced him hasn't stood out for me, but he's been good. Um, Paul George, haven't seen much from his AI. Honestly, his manual gameplay is a little bit of a letdown as well. I thought originally that he was going to be one of the better League versus League Masters. I really was looking forward to getting him. Um, but he really has not been great for me. And, oh, T-Mac is too quick. Yeah, so League versus League Paul George, not a huge recommend. He's statistically better than, like, Glenn Rice, who's a 95 overall and on that roster. But... As far as his actual stats go, I don't see him, uh, not his actual stats, sorry, I mean his gameplay, he's not great, he's nothing special. You may have different opinions, that's just mine, but from my testing, from my gameplay, he's meh at best. So I think Duncan got a nice block on Wilkins, which I expected Neek to go 
go in and get on him. Uh, Bow Outlaw gets by Town. Oh, it's Towns, not Duncan. Ooh, that was nice. I don't know why I thought it was Duncan. I'm playing a defensive lineup. That was a nice move by Towns, though. I like that. I don't see that very often. Oh, Neek got wide open there, but he can't shoot the three. I shouldn't have taken that. That was ill-advised. He's got a T-Mac 2, which I took from. And then Russ to KD for the alley-oop. That's going to go down. I'm trying to push the ball a little bit, if I can, into the hands of Paul George or Bo Outlaw, but he just throws it away. T-Mac again. There's Paul George. He passes it right out. Russell Westbrook. Westbrook's good, but I've taken the ball away from him a couple of times already. He got by me there, though. Uh, let's see what's going to happen here. Russ is going to go over to Neek, who's going to cut through and pass it off to T-Mac, who's going to go up and get to his clutch spot with exactly 30 seconds, hopefully. There we go. Take that clutch shot. I like the clutch shots. They're, they're so cheese. <laughs> they do miss on occasion, though. That's As I see this bouncing around, I have had one clutch shot miss. In my entire NBA Live mobile career, I was super surprised and did a little bit of research on NBA Live GG to see if that was a regular occurrence. It turns out that it is not a regular occurrence, but it can happen. The clutch essentially is a guaranteed three-pointer or two-pointer if you misstep, but it can both be blocked and stolen, which I knew, but more than that, it can miss. It's not, oh wow, that was a big offensive rebound. Nah, nothing to do there. It's not 100%. It's essentially heightened the chance of you scoring. Um, but basically, it's 99.9%. .9%. Like I said, I play a lot of NBA Live Mobile, and I have missed one clutch shot. And it was just a regular shot, too. I don't even know if I was contested. I don't remember. But I do remember that it missed because I was not happy with that. Oh, this guy. So we played him. Two minutes is not a lot of time to really get to see, especially from a full lineup. It's not a lot to get to see what's going to happen with the AI. So I will bring more of those. Anytime I see League versus League Masters, fan favorite Masters, I'll try to highlight them if I can. Um, but you saw a full two-minute quarter. I think Bo Outlaw touched the ball once. Did nothing with it. He played a little bit of defense. Paul George also played a little bit of defense. Didn't do much. And that was it from them. Paul George touched the ball once, passed it right out. Not a lot going on there. So this guy we were playing, I think it was, was it his small ball lineup? I wanted to show you Penny Hardaway. They also have League versus League Drummond. So that works out nicely. You get to see two different league masters one's a fan favorite but it's part of the league versus league umbrella and we'll get a shooting so i like to i try to avoid putting the same lineup against the same lineup i find that i have had bad luck with that i find that if i do like for instance small ball versus small ball it does not end well and i've seen it across all lineups in both league versus league less in head to head because the game mechanics are a little bit different um, but especially in League versus League, when I started playing, I did that a lot. I would have like a 96 overall defensive lineup, and they'd have a 95 overall defensive lineup. Figured that I could dog them, and then it wouldn't happen. I would have legitimate trouble um, getting a win on that quarter. And as you can see, I'm talking, and I'm playing in the background, and I'm still putting up plus 10 as my difference so obviously i'm not terrible at this game i'm not by any means the greatest player but i can play and if i'm saying that i had trouble winning a quarter it means that it's probably ill-advised i would not go out and put the same lineup against another lineup thinking that you're going to take him out so here, let's start this defensive lineup. We'll try to give you a little bit of insight into the small ball. You'll see Penny. You'll see Drummond. We get Lynn. We get Mobile Madness Master Christian Leitner. His AI I haven't seen much of. Um, a lot of people have him, but small ball is not one of those lineups that I play 
all that regularly. Ooh, I'm surprised that missed. That usually goes in. Uh, All-star master Steph Curry is one of the few guys with Lin that I actually enjoy taking corner threes with because he tends to hit those. He's pretty good at the corners. He's great on the wings, though, too. I just thought I had a step on Lin, and I didn't. Oh, didn't see the time. Lin got that clutch. I'm usually closer to blocking those. I didn't even get a chance to jump. There was a pick in the way. That was overall a pretty bad defensive possession for me. Lin's AI is it's, its not bad. It's decent, you know. he You can take the ball away from him. That double clutch, though, I find for some reason... Clutch players in this game seem to have a crazy advantage on AI. Like, when you have a guy who's got... Oh, I can't believe you stole that. When you have a guy who has the clutch ability, they drop it down on you. Like, every time they go for it, pretty much. It's very, very rare that I will be playing in either league versus league or even head-to-head. -head, and there's a chance at a clutch shot and the defensive player or the AI player does not take it, does not go for it. They might run around for a bit, but usually they get there. And uh, as you can see, I hit a three with Paul George, so he's not completely useless. He's just not my favorite. I've had uh, better experiences with other players that's going to miss. Not a lot from Drummond. You saw he, he, he got... Ah... I swear I hit that block. I slid up from guard to block, and it never went for the block. That's unfortunate. But yeah, um, you can see that Drummond, he gets his fair share of offensive rebounds, which I really like. Let's get that three with Curry. Oh, I'm surprised he missed that. Missed open look, thanks. But yeah, didn't see anything from Penny Hardaway. Uh, Drummond got an offensive rebound off of a block. Leitner really didn't do much. That was all Lin. Those were both of his clutches were the only things that they scored. Oh, something sold. We'll check on that in a minute. Let's go play that third league versus league. And let's go. This is shooting. And we're going to try out that two-way with Dwayne Wade. So he's actually worse overall than playoff master James Harden. And this was what... This was the matchup I was looking for. You have that shooting lineup that's going to be straight up just trying to put down shots. I want to see how Dwayne Wade plays on defense. I want to see what he can do offensively. I'm going to essentially try to just use him. Ah, I hate when I lose the tip-offs. Those are so easy to get. I should never be missing those. Um, okay, so Dwayne Wade, we're going to slide over with him. This is going to be pretty much a Dwayne Wade show. Let's get the ball back to D. Wade. Let's see if he can hit the three first and foremost. Got a good shot off. He does hit it. Okay. So let's see if there's any consistency out of him, out of his shot. Let's get Wade back here, see if he can steal the ball. He doesn't get it there. Can he get it from his own defensive assignment? No, but his lockdown D is decent. Harden still got the shot up. Let's see Wade again. See if we can get through here. We can. Ooh, he slid under the block there, and he got a nice layup. That's impressive. That's something that, like, nine times out of ten will miss with most players. Dwayne Wade got that steal, too. Now his league versus league card might be pretty decent. Let's see the three. He hits the three. All right, so Dwayne Wade right now is three for three with a steal. That's pretty good. Oh, I missed him completely on that one. Let's get Lillard the ball, do some fancy footwork. Back to Wade. Wade, can he get it in? Yeah, four for four for Dwayne Wade. I'm impressed with this card so far. I don't trust T-Mac on those drives, honestly. T-Mac's more of a three-point shooter. I don't see uh, those drives coming from him very often, even though you'd think that T-Mac would be able to. See what Wade can do. Wade is not as effective as a secondary player or as the primary player when you miss a shot. Let's see if uh, he can do a fader. Nah, that I figured he was going to miss, but I had good positioning on my rebounders, but lost the ball anyway. 
I'm surprised they didn't get the block there. Let's give that back to Dwayne Wade. Let's see if he can make another three. That one was contested. He can't hit that. Okay. So obviously Dwayne Wade is not your be-all, end-all three-point shooter. I don't think anyone's surprised by that. This is a surprisingly close game. Let's give the ball back to D-Wade to see if he has any clutch. Boom. Let's hope that drops. Yeah, that looked good. Oh, Dwayne Wade. All right, so not bad. He ended up going, what was that, five for seven? All 13 points were Dwayne Wade. He had a steal. His defense is mediocre. Uh, it's unfortunate that that matchup was so close. But you get to see him a little bit there. So I think what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to just challenge some random dude. Let's see who's got All right, a couple of high-end defensive guys. Hornacek, he's a good shooter. He's a really good shooter. And he's good on defense too. I'm curious about this one. Let's see defensively what Dwayne Wade can do on Hornacek and offensively too. Again, this is head-to-head, -head, not league versus league. So it's not going to be the same game mechanics. Um, but I'm very curious to see what Wade does. I'm, oh, wow. Two missed jump balls from Carl Anthony Towns. That's surprising. All right. Westbrook gets right in. Let's just give the ball back to Wade right away. Let's see if we can get in the spot. Take the three. What happens? He hits it. That looks like Glenn Rice blocking him, though, there. There's Hornacek. So much easier looking for the white guy. That's just basketball. But, uh, no, there are more and more white guys in basketball. A lot of Europeans. Not that it really makes any difference whatsoever. It's just in the game. It is obviously easier to differentiate when you've got four black guys on the court and one white dude. Anyway, Wade misses that shot. Let's see. He gets a step back, takes it, misses that too. He was pretty open on that one, honestly. I would have thought he would have hit the step back. The three, I'm not expecting much from him. But that step back, I thought he should have hit. Oh, this guy's got bow outlaw too, so you can see a little bit of his gameplay on offense for head-to-head. -head. All right. That one was tightly defended, and Wade hit it, splashed it too. Let's see what goes down here. Wade doesn't do much against Hornacek there. Let's him blow right by him. Hornacek goes up. Yeah, Hornacek is nice. Honestly, he's got a nice, a nice gameplay out of his card. Wade, I go straight. Okay, he hits that. That's not bad. So far, the league versus league master Dwayne Wade is looking like he's fun to use. Gotta love Dwayne Wade. One of the better players of this generation. Um, but. He's not replacing T-Mac in your lineup. That's just not even going to happen a little bit. I mean, he's 6'4". Like, that T-Mac would have been automatic with that shot. T-Mac 6'8 versus the 6'4 Wade. The defense on Dwayne Wade is a little superior. But a lot of my defense doesn't come from my shooting guard anyway. Most of your defense is going to come from your point guard just because of how this game works. Oh, Wade gets blocked. Yeah. Not super impressed. Surprised by the amount of threes he hit. Not super impressed overall with the gameplay. In my opinion, League versus League Master Wade is a no-go. If you can replace him, you should replace him. Let's just see what sold the AI collectible. All right, so we got that back. We got a little bit of coin there. Uh, sets wise, I'm almost done the League versus League boss set. I'm missing the collectibles for Big Man, and that's about it. And I need those defensive rebounds still. Once I get those and get the last collectibles, it's a tough decision. I don't know which boss that I would choose. Lamarcus Aldridge is pretty solid everywhere. He's not amazing, but he's good enough. Ah, that's annoying. They don't show you the stats. I'm surprised. Um, 
it would be probably between Aldridge and Paul George. 98 overall center would be nice, but I don't know how much better Andre Drummond's going to get considering he has no shot. He can play good defense, and he gets boards, which is important, don't get me wrong. But a 93 to a 98, I don't see him getting that much better defensively and on rebounds as he's already good. Kemba, no way. I'm sorry, but pretty much everyone knows he's barely an option. There are so many options at the small at the uh, big man point guard, and Master Westbrook is just dogging all of them in my opinion. The only ones that come close are probably Jerry West and maybe Boss Kemba. But I have yet to see any Boss gameplay. I don't think they're in the game. I think there may be a couple of EA developers who have them on their lineups, but they're hard to find on the map. Um, so yeah, it would really probably be between Paul George and LaMarcus Aldridge. And with that signature Durant and that new throwback Kawhi, those just came out. Those are really, really... Like, that, that Kawhi looks sick. Let's just take a look here. Look at this. If I go into the auction house, if I could afford it, I would buy it and I would show you guys. But I cannot. He's just disgusting. Look at this. Every single stat, the lowest stat is dribbling, and that's an 84 out of his base stats. And his hidden stats are crazy, too. Again, you can check out nbalive.gg. So that's G like golf twice, like good game. nbalive.gg. You can check out all of his hidden stats in the database. And he's just a monster. His stats are so disgusting. To be able to play that well, I actually misspoke, though. His lowest stat on his base card is an 81, and that's his passing. Um, but his stats are, are they're, they're incredible. If we check out that Durant, I wonder if there are any up here. There is signature Durant. His defense is below 80. His passing is also an 81. Dribbling, three-pointer, and shooting are higher than Kawhi's, but not by a ton. And his speed is a little bit better, too. You know what? Here we can even do this. This is the even better way of doing this. Let's do that, and let's just search here. There's going to be just these two guys. So if we want to do a head-to-head -head comparison... Speed 88, three-pointer 87, defense 89. Speed 86, three-pointer 92, defense 78. So Kawhi wins on that left side. On the right side, dribbling 84, shooting 89, passing 81. And then Durant is dribbling 91, shooting 93, passing 81. Durant wins on the right side. They're very evenly matched up. If you want the better three-point shooter, you go Durant. You want the better defensive player who can also still get buckets, you go for Kawhi. The nice thing about Kawhi is because he's Kawhi Leonard 2016, because he's a throwback addition, you can actually put him into your lineup with the all-star Kawhi power forward, which I think would be a deadly combo. Anyway, that's going to be all for me for today. I hope you guys liked, enjoyed, subscribed, everything that is good, and you have a great evening. Um, again, if you want to check out the forum that I'm talking about, nbalive.gg, you can see my username is the same as my Twitter handle, which is the same as my YouTube username. It's KCWINN66. And you'll see a link or a list rather of all of my videos there, um, plus ideas of stuff to come. If you guys want to see anything, don't forget to let me know in the comments. I'm happy to bring out any sort of video. I'm thinking about doing a couple of challenges. Uh, maybe a tutorial on the auction house, little tutorials here and there. There's going to be a giveaway at 100 subscribers. I'm not quite there yet. I think I'm in the high 20s, maybe 30 by now. Who knows? I can check that in a bit. Um, but 100 subscribers, I'm going to do 100K. I'm looking at trying to get a couple of friends involved so that I can offer it on every single auction house. But for now, I'm only on auction house 2. So if you're on auction house 1 or 3... Uh, hopefully we can find a way to get that done, but the giveaway for now would only be on auction house too. Anyway, that's it for me for right now. Again, if you have anything that you're looking for specifically, let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make that video. All right, guys, peace out.